the 1872 Cavite Mutiny. On January 20, 1872, about 200 Filipino soldiers and laborers of Fort San Felipe Arsenal in Cavite, Philippines, staged a mutiny which in a way led to the Philippine Revolution in 1896. The 1872 Cavite Mutiny was precipitated by the removal of long-standing personal benefits to the workers such as tax and forced labor exemption on order from the Governor General Rafael D. Esquerdo. The uprising was used by the Spanish colonial government to implicate and sentence to death by Garote, the three martyr priests, namely Padre Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Jacinto Zamora on February 17, 1872 in Bagumbayan, and several other Filipino leaders. Cavite Mutiny is one of the greatest historical events of the Philippines and the major awakening of nationalism among the Filipinos. However, this event became controversy today because there are many accounts that speak the causes and the event itself. There are two versions of first-hand accounts about the 1872 Cavite Mutiny. The accounts from the Spaniards and the accounts coming from the Filipinos. And now, we are going to examine of which accounts tells the truth. Jose Montero E. Vidal, a prolific Spanish historian, documented the event and highlighted it as an attempt of the Indians to overthrow the Spanish government in the Philippines. Both Montero and Escuardo scored out that the abolition of privileges enjoyed by the workers of Cavite Arsenal such as non-payment of tributes and exemption from forced labor were the main reasons of the revolution as how they called it. However, other causes were enumerated by them including the Spanish Revolution which overthrew the circular throne, dirty propagandas proliferated by unrestrained press, democratic, liberal, and republican books, and pamphlets reaching the Philippines, and most importantly, the presence of the native clergy who out of animosity against the Spanish friars, conspired and supported the rebels and enemies of Spain. As a writer, Montero contributed to the Real Academia de la Historica and wrote three volumes of his book, Historia General Filipinas desde el Descubrimiento de Dicaceles hasta nuestros días, which included his first-hand account on the Cavite Mutiny, published on Volume 3, by which were successively published from 1887, 1894, and 1895. The print source was in Madrid by M. Tello, year 1887 to 95, 11,653 kilometers away from Cavite. Rafael Escardo was the Governor General of the Philippines in year 1871 to 1873. He was famous for his use of iron fist type of government, contradicting the liberal government of his predecessor. He imposed a reform which suggested that the soldiers of the engineering and artillery corps should pay taxes from which they were previously exempt and they were also required to perform a manual labor. In Rafael Esquerdo's account, the mutiny was hatched by a group of native Filipino press, several mestizos, and lawyers who were fighting against the crimes and abuses experienced by Filipinos under the Spanish regime. And according to his official report to the King of Spain, he magnified the event and made use of it to implicate a native clergy, which was then achieved in a call for secularization of parishes. He also reported that the three Filipino press named Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Jacinto Zamora is planning to liquidate the Spanish rulers and take over their positions. A response to injustice, the Filipino version of the incident. First, the account of Trinidad Pardo de Tavera, a Filipino physician, historian, and politician of Spanish and Portuguese descent. Trinidad, also known by his name, T.H. Pardo de Tavera, was also known for his writings about different aspects of Philippine culture. Dr. Trinidad Herminigildo Pardo de Tavera, a Filipino scholar and researcher, wrote the Filipino version of the bloody incident in Cavite. 
in his point of view, the incident was a mere mutiny by the native Filipino soldiers and laborers of the Cavite Arsenal who turned out to be dissatisfied with the abolition of their privileges. Indirectly, Tavera blamed Governor Izquierdo's cold-blooded policies such as the abolition of privileges of the workers and native army members of the arsenal and the prohibition of the founding of school of arts and trades for the Filipinos. Tavera believed that the Spanish friars and Izquierdo used the Cavite mutiny as a powerful lever by magnifying it as a full-blown conspiracy involving not only the native army but also included residents of Cavite and Manila and more importantly the native clergy to overthrow the Spanish government in the Philippines. Edmund Plouchet, a French writer residing in Manila at the time of the revolt, gives a dispassionate account of the event and its causes in an article published in the French literary magazine Revue des Jumots in 1877. His accounts complement Tavera's accounts by confirming that the event happened due to Governor General Rafael Esquedero E. Gutierrez exacting of personal taxes from workers and soldiers, as well as his impositions of forced labor on them, which results to the discontentment of the workers and soldiers in Cavite Fort. On the 20th of January 1872, the day of the mutiny, the workers received their salaries and were surprised and angered at the same time due to the deductions of tributes and payments in lieu of forced labor from their salaries. They started the mutiny right away, but it was crushed as soon as it started because of the lack of coordination between the mutineers. The historical source of 1872 Cavite mutiny that was written by Jose Montero y Vidal, Governor General Rafael Izquierdo, Dr. Trinidad Pardo de Tavera and Edmund Plachat was cited by Gregorio Zaid and Sonia Zaid in their book, Documentary Source of the Philippine History, published in year 1990 in Metro Manila, Philippines, 33.6 kilometers away from Cavite. It is apparent that the Spanish account underscored the reason for the revolution is the abolition of privileges enjoyed by the worker of the Cavite Arsenal, such as the exemption from payment of tribute and being employed in polo services or forced labor. Presence of the native clergy against the Spanish prior conspired and supported the rebels. In the Spaniard account, 1872 was permitted a part of a big conspiracy among educated leaders, mestizos, lawyers, and residents of Manila in Cavite. The account details that on January 20, 1872, the district of Sampaloc celebrated the feast if the Virgin Loreto came with it some firework display. The Capitanios mistook this uh, signal to commence with the attack. However, according to the Filipino account, the prayer used the incident as a part of larger conspiracy to cement their dominance with which had started to show crack because of the disconnect of the Filipino. They showcase the mutiny uh, is part of greater conspiracy in the Philippines by Filipinos to overthrow the Spanish government. Unraveling the truth Considering the four accounts of 1872 mutiny, there were some basic facts that remained to be unvarying. First, there was dissatisfaction among the workers of the arsenal as well as the members of the native army after their privileges were drawn back by General Izquierdo. Second, General Izquierdo introduced rigid and strict policies that made Filipinos move and torn away from Spanish government out of disgust. Third, the central government failed to conduct an investigation on what truly transpired but relied on reports of Izquierdo and the friars and also the opinion of the public. Fourth, the happy days of the friars were already numbered in 1872 when the central government in Spain decided to deprive them of the power to intervene in government affairs as well as in the direction management of schools prompting them to commit frantic moves to extend their stay and maintain their power in the Philippines. Fifth, 
The Filipino clergy members actively participated in the secularization movement in order to allow Filipino priests to take hold of the parishes in the country, making them prey to the rage of the friars. Sixth, Filipinos during the time were active participants and responded to what they deemed as injustices. And lastly, the execution of Gomborza was a blunder on the part of the Spanish government. For the action severed the ill feelings of the Filipinos and the event inspired Filipino patriots to call for reforms and eventually independence. There may be different versions of the event but one thing is certain. The 1872 Cavite mutiny paved way for a momentous 1898.